Hey friends, Andy here, how you doing? Good to see you. If I sound weird, it's because I'm still a little sick, but you know what can't keep me down? Being sick, I'm gonna make a video anyway. So here I am covering a video about how to run pre-search nodes on your Flux nodes. I've had a lot of you request this, so I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it in this video, potentially save you some money on pre-search node hosting. But before I do that, do me a favor and don't pre-search how to like this video. I'm gonna tell you how. You just go right down there in the bottom corner and click that little thumbs up icon. I appreciate it, it's wonderful, it makes everybody feel just warm and fuzzy deep inside. And while you're down there, you will also find a link to join my Discord community called Sleep Money Club. It's all about wealth building, uh, crypto passive income, investing in general. We do live streams, I'm in there all the time, chatting and answering questions and interacting. It is a ton of fun and a bunch of people have already signed up and are in there having fun. Uh, so check that out down in the description. But enough of all that, let's get into this video. All right, let's do it. So in the not too distant past, uh, Presearch, which is a project I have talked about quite a bit here on my channel, and Flux, another project I've talked about extensively here on my channel. The two of them teamed up and you can now run Presearch nodes on the Flux node network. Now, if at this point you're asking me, Andy, what the heck is pre-search, a pre-search node? What are you going on about? Well, let me tell you. So pre-search or pre-search.org, as you can see right here, is a search engine. But it's not just a search engine, it's decentralized, it's private, and it's a really cool company and project. Now, when I say it's decentralized, what I mean is that unlike a search engine like Google, which has all of their uh, compute power and search servers all in basically a few centralized locations, Pre-Search's servers are user run, meaning me and you run their servers for them. And they're spread out all around the world uh, by a bunch of different individuals and that makes it very decentralized. So I don't view this as a direct Google competitor, but of course, if they, you know, chomped away at some of the market cap of Google, I'd be a-okay with that. I view this more as a competitor to something like DuckDuckGo, which is a private search engine, but that one is much more centralized than pre-search is. And like I said, we run the servers, so we run the nodes that are the backbone of pre-search, and for doing so, we get rewarded. Basically, what you do is you run a server or a computer at home, you take 2,000 of their pre-search tokens and you stake them. You don't spend them, you don't burn them. This isn't like strong nodes or something like that. You actually keep all of the collateral, all of the coins to run the node. You stake these 2,000 pre-search tokens and in doing so you get rewarded for not only staking, but helping the network. Right now on average, uh, a pre-search node gets between one to 1.5 pre every single day. If we go right here to CoinGecko and look at the pre-search uh, coin price, it's roughly 35 cents per coin. And let's say, let's split the difference and say 1.25 pre per day times 30 days. Let's call that 38 pre which comes out to about $14 a month right now. Now, of course, this is still very early. It's still a very small market cap uh, coin, so the price could skyrocket. And these 38 pre-search tokens could be worth $38 or multiples of that. I don't know what the future holds. Now, a question I got asked a lot in my last pre-search video was, well, if you're only making about $14 a month or so, give or take a few bucks, and it takes 2,000 tokens or about $714 worth of tokens uh, to start up this node. Uh, aren't you worried about break-even times? It seems, gee, Andy, it seems like the break-even time is way out there. With other nodes, like again, strong, keep bringing them up, I break even in only 100 and something days. This is gonna take you years. Well, I think break-even times for stuff like this is largely irrelevant because you're not spending your tokens. These are very different types of projects, very different animals. At the drop of a hat, at a moment's notice, you can unstake your pre-search tokens, all 2,000 of them, and then sell them back on the market. Really, this is not uh, buying a node so it pays for itself and then you start profiting on top of that. No, this is because you like the project, you wanna hold some of the coins, just have an appreciating asset, and on top of that, you wanna earn some interest. You wanna stack some more coins uh, for very little uh, effort or cost per month. And of course, this all this stuff changes the moment the price changes. So um, these points I'm bringing up are kind of uh, irrelevant in and of themselves at the moment, uh, because again, we don't know the future. And if that is you, give me a call at my toll-free hotline at 1-800-CALL 
future Andy. Just fit it all in there. I know that's more digits than the phone takes, but it's, you know, it's a real number. You should definitely call me at that. Okay, enough of all this. What is pre-search and how much do you make business? Let's do this tutorial. Okay, so before you jump into this whole running uh, the pre-search nodes on Flux node network, you're going to need to buy pre-search tokens. I happen to really like buying them on KuCoin. KuCoin is one of my favorite exchanges for a lot of coins, including Flux, but you can buy your pre search wherever you want, wherever it's listed. Um, in fact, you can actually even buy them directly through the pre-search website. I just have never personally done it, so I don't recommend that route just because I don't have the experience with it. Um, if you do use KuCoin, there's a link in the description to get 10% off of your uh, transaction fees forever if you use that link. So check that out. But essentially, you're going to buy your uh, pre-search tokens. You need at least 2,000 of them to run a node and just make sure you have enough to cover the fees on the withdrawal. And then you can watch my other video, get more of the details here, but essentially you're gonna to go to nodes.presearch.org, you're gonna create a, um, an account. And when doing so, use the link in the description. And when you sign up for your pre-search account, you will get 25 pre-search tokens for free just from using that link. And of course, when you have your own account, you can share that link with friends and they can get 25 uh, pre-search tokens and you get 25 pre-search tokens, every person who signs up. It's gonna show you your nodes dashboard here. You're gonna click on this transfer pre button. You're gonna have three options. Um, and if you're gonna buy pre-search on KuCoin, you're gonna click from blockchain. You're gonna copy this address and this is gonna be the address you put into KuCoin when you withdraw. It's an ERC20, it's an Ethereum token um, address. You send your pre here and eventually it will show up here in your available to stake. Um, on your pre-search nodes dashboard. And in fact, I went ahead and unstaked one of my nodes to show you here. Now I've got over 2000 available, ready to stake on a new node. And it really is just that easy to unstake your tokens and use them again. So now that you have your uh, pre-search on your pre-search nodes dashboard, we're ready to set up the actual node portion of it. I'm not gonna cover this part, uh, the first part of this in super detail because I'm assuming if you're interested in this process, you're already in the Flux ecosystem. You already have a Flux node or at least own Flux, you're aware of the project, et cetera, et cetera. Because step one of this part of the process is already having your Flux Zellcore wallet installed and you are gonna need some Flux in the wallet. Assuming you have your wallet and your Flux ready to go, you're gonna to go to home.runonflux.io. This is the Flux nodes dashboard uh, page. And the, on this home page, you're gonna see this, please log in using Zell ID. You click this. It's gonna say, give a prompt to open Zellcore, hit okay. It's going to ask you to sign uh, this address with your pin, click sign and send, and it should give you this option now close it. Go back to the page and it, that uh, sign in with your Zell ID portion is going to be gone because you're now logged in. Now we're gonna go over here to the apps section and then scroll down to marketplace. And right away, you're gonna see pre-search node as one of the listings and the price is one flux a month. We go to CoinGecko and we type in flux. We can see that right now at this moment, one flux is worth $2.41. So already running a pre-search node at $2.41 per month is a pretty good deal compared to other hosting packages. However, you don't get one node for this deal. You actually get three or maybe four, depends on who you ask. When you set this up, it's going to launch uh, at least three nodes for your one flux per month. So you're actually getting uh, three servers for the price of one. So it's a pretty good deal. It's one of the absolute cheapest uh, hosting options out there for your pre-search nodes other than running it at home for free. So next you click on pre-search and then right here where it says registration code, you're gonna go to your pre-search nodes dashboard, your node registration code, you hit copy, you come back here to flux and you're gonna paste it in here. Yours will not be blurred unlike mine. Next, we're gonna hit start launching marketplace app. On this registration message, we hit next. We're going to sign the app with Zellcore, just like we did for our login. Click the Zell ID, hit open Zellcore, type in your pin, sign and send, hit close. Go back here to the site, click next. We're going to hit register Flux app, say a propagating message across Flux network. When it says registration hash received, we can hit next. Now we gotta send our payment. So you hit pay with Zellcore. Again, we hit Zell ID. 
open up Zelcor. Payment request for one flux to this address. Would you like to proceed and pay? Proceed to pay. We type in our pin again to verify. It should automatically have it auto-populated right here. One flux, we hit send. Yes, send. Transaction sent. Then we go here to finish. Please ensure that you have paid for your app or save the payment details for later. Close the launch app dialog, yes. And that is it for this part of the process. What you're gonna do now is you're going to wait. For me, it took about an hour for the nodes to finally populate in my dashboard. Let me go ahead and show you what that looks like. So on your dashboard, at, when they start popping up, and just be patient, it might take a little while for them to propagate on the on the network. One, you get this, that uh, transaction has to be confirmed, uh, but then two, they have to uh, populate uh, the node request and all that stuff, and then they have to actually pop up on the network and the software has to be installed, etc., etc. But what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down and at the very top of your uh, node dashboard, if you don't have any nodes in here yet, it'll be the only thing that pops up, but if you already have some nodes, it will pop up on top of those. You will start seeing some pop-up that say, no description, brand new nodes being launched. In this case, the last time I did this, I actually got four for the price of one. But like I said, it could be anywhere between uh, three or four nodes, but you're gonna get at least three nodes out of this. Now, when these pop up, what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on one, uh, one of the pencil edit icons next to no description. We're gonna give it 2000 pre-search tokens. For the description, we're gonna give it a name. I'm gonna put uh, pre-flux node zero one. Uh, send an email on disconnect, send an email on reconnect. And then we're going to hit update. Back to node list, scroll down. And there it is right there uh, online and uh, ready to start earning. Uh, currently says none are staked, but that should update in a second when I refresh. And there you see right here, pre-search flux node zero one with 2000 staked. And then literally just do the same steps for each additional node uh, for as many as you want to run. And if you only wanna run one, but you still popped up four, you can just keep them running, there's no big deal. They're still gonna be helping out the network, you just won't earn anything on them. And if you wanna run more on Flux, we just repeat the entire process I just showed you as many times as you want using the same uh, registration code, the same everything, It just repopulate as many as needed. Another question I get asked a lot is, uh, should you run more nodes or should you just run one node with a bunch of pre-search uh, tokens on it? The minimum to run a node is 2,000 tokens, but you can also run more than that. Now, when I did some research into this, uh, the rule of thumb was for every additional 1,000 pre uh, tokens that you stake on a node, you earn an additional 0.3 pre-search per day. So again, with a standard node of 2,000, you're earning one to 1.5 pre-search per day. For every extra 1,000 you put on there, so let's say you double it to 4,000, you can expect to earn 0.6 additional pre per day. So not quite as much as a full uh, node on its own, but maybe it's more worthwhile to you to just stack a bunch on one instead of running a bunch of nodes. So the choice is all yours on that one. I personally wanna earn just a little bit extra, so I am running multiple nodes, but there's no wrong answers here. It's just whatever your personal preference is. Two more notes. One, the reliability score is going to be slow to increase. It's gonna start really low, and then over probably the span of a week, it's finally gonna get up to wherever it's going to end up. Now, I will say these, Flux node uh, run pre nodes do have a lower reliability score than uh, the ones I've been running with UpCloud, for example. However, that's a problem that they're aware of on the Flux side and they say they are working on it. So stay tuned to see if that is fixed. Also, I've had several comments talking about how they're not earning um, one, at least one pre per day. And it's usually people who just got their nodes up and running. You will earn less than one to 1.5 pre-search per day when you first get it started. It takes, again, up to a week for you to hit your full maximum reliability score and start earning your maximum rewards uh, for your nodes. So just give it some time. Now, if you don't wanna do this route on Flux nodes and you don't want to do the $5 a month uh, server on UpCloud like I can show you in my other tutorial, well then one other option you should highly consider is Rack Nerd. Uh, I'll put a link to this down in the description as well, but they have a VPS, a KVM VPS uh, cloud server. 
uh, right here for $22.99, $23 a year, or roughly $1.92 per month. On the spectrum, uh, Flux is by far the cheapest that you can go, uh, but this is definitely the next cheapest, uh, good, reliable, um, uh, server that I have found online and I would recommend, but UpCloud again is one of the easiest, um, online cloud servers to use and it has relatively high or relatively decent uh, reliability scores. All right, that's enough of this terrible sick person voice that you've been listening to. I hope this helps out the people who are curious about how you do this process. It really is pretty easy. There's nothing really to it. It's pretty neat that uh, Flux has enabled this. Uh, cool way to see the Flux node network in action. If you want a little bit of a deeper dive into how much I make with my pre-search nodes, then you will probably want to check out this video right here and watch this video if you want to know where I would suggest investing your first $1,000 into crypto. Otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.